Hello and welcome back to the Maguire's YouTube channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna get right to it and show you how to remove those swells and scratches. So before we can do any paint correction, we need to give this car a deep clean. For a maintenance wash we'll just be using our snow foam alone but because we want to give this car a deeper clean we're going to use the cleaning abilities of the MPC to boost that degrease. So before the snow foam is applied I'm going to spray the MPC on the particularly grimy sections of the car whether it's the lower sections, inner arches, or anywhere that has built up some dirt and grime over time. Now the reason we want to pre-wash the car before we go in with the contact wash is because we need to remove any loose contaminants that could cause further scratching. Now the snow foam is going to dwell for a few minutes and we're going to agitate some areas using our dashing trim brush. So the loose contaminants are removed now through the pre-wash stage. Now we're going to go into that next step in our deep clean using our wash plus shampoo now this utilizes polishing agents to give that car a deeper scrub Before we roll the car into the bay and take on those swirls, let's just recap on what's happened so far. So we clean the wheels and tyres using our ultimate all-wheel cleaner. We give the car a good pre-wash using our heavy-duty multi-purpose cleaner and our ultimate snow foam. Then we give the car a real deep clean using our Wash Plus shampoo. Now the car's in the bay, let's get on with evaluating the surface. Now it didn't really take as long to notice that the car had quite bad swirls all over the paint. And when we feel it with the back of our hand, we can hear those above surface contaminants. Now this could be road tar, tree sap, uh, industrial fallout. These are bonded to the top surface of the paint. So before we do any correction, we need to use the clay bar to remove them. Now before using the clay, make sure you cut it in half. This means that if you drop it on the floor, you have that spare half ready to go. As soon as it's hit the floor, it needs to be thrown away. Make sure after each panel, you knead and fold the clay so it's nice and clean for the next panel. let's see where we're at with the car so far. So we know it's been cleaned, we've brought it into the bay to be inspected, we felt the car, we knew that it had above surface contaminants, so we use clay bar to remove them. Now for the subsurface contaminants, such as swirls and scratches, we want to be using the ultimate compound. Now this is our go-to hero product for paint renovation. It's not only going to bring clarity to paint, but it can also restore faded colours. So if you have a more traditional one-stage paint like a red car and it's gone pink, this is the great product to use on that but it's also fantastic for darker colours to bring back that kind of mirror finish. Now we're going to be using this by hand and machine using the even coat applicator pad and our cutting disc.
see from this 50-50 on the bonnet, it's not taken as much time at all to remove those swirls and scratches using our foam cutting disc along with our ultimate compound on a moderate speed. Now if you want to learn more as a beginner's guide about how to machine polish your paint, check out our Detailing 101 series. So when we look at this panel, there's lots of curves and lines that can make your kind of traditional up and down, left and right a bit trickier. So why not break it into sections? So first of all, I'm going to do some passes along this line and I'm going to work these sections separately. I'm not going to go over this crease here because that's by far the least amount of paint on your car. You don't want to overwork that surface area. So it's all about breaking it down and making your life easier. So you notice that I didn't tape up these trims. Our products are trim safe, but if you're not confident, you want to start out by making sure you tape all around the trim areas, that's completely fine. So we've gone through the revival stage of bringing back some clarity to the paint. Now we want to enhance gloss through the refinement stage with our ultimate polish and our soft foam polishing disc. So a little hint and tip when using compound and polish, don't let them dry on the surface. Once you've applied them to the surface, remove it straight away. So the refinement stage is done. We've used our ultimate polish to really enrich the gloss on this paint. So gloss is nothing without a protection. And we're gonna use our brand new formulation of ultimate liquid wax to enhance that gloss and give it long lasting protection. So to apply the wax, we're just gonna take a step back from the machine application. We're just gonna hand apply using a soft foam applicator pad and a small amount of product. So when it comes to waxing the car, less really is more. Now the Ultimate Liquid Wax utilizes fine film technology to give you long lasting protection and durability without using a lot of product. So unlike the polish and the compound, we can leave this on the surface to cure. That's where you get the strength. So I'm gonna start at the bonnet and work my way around the car. Now if you need to check to see if the wax is cured, simply swipe your finger on the surface. If it's greasy like this, it means it needs longer. If it's clear, it's ready to remove. So the final step for this detail is going around and doing those last little touches. Now part of that is using our brand new formulation for our ultimate detailer. Now this is a light mist on the surface that's going to help remove any excess residues but also boost gloss and give you extra beading. And also we're going to be using our perfect clarity glass cleaner to give your glass that streak free finish. There we have it, that's the end of this video where we've shown you how to give your car a deep clean and prepare it for that paint correction using the ultimate compound, ultimate polish and our brand new formulation of ultimate liquid wax. Now remember to like, share and subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Yeah.